my brother. Oh, individual item. You're so cool, you know. You're so cool. You know what? We don't Chinese single. You show what Chinese the child to enjoy. So first, I should say I'm a big fan of Running Man. I think it's a really funny show. You've got to respect Deng Chao because he's trying his best and he's communicating what he wants to communicate using his creativity. He, he does a pretty good job considering that it isn't that great, that he doesn't know maybe that many words. Now I want to go into and talk about some of the specific things that he said in the situation and how he could have said it if he wanted to be more clear. First, we are made in China. We are uh, made in uh, China. <laughs> Instead, we could say we are from China. Usually, actually, we come from China is not that common. So it's best to say we are from China. We are from China. Instead of we are made in China. Things are made in China. iPhones are made in China. Many things are made in China. But people come from China or are from China. We, we are so... So difficult, you know. Yes. Uh... We are so difficult. The lady misunderstood. Because if you are difficult as a customer, that means you're giving trouble to the person working at the shop. So she says, no, no, you're not difficult. Because she, she didn't totally understand what he meant. If someone is a difficult customer, they're an inconvenience to the person who's helping them. So what he meant to say was what he's doing, what he's trying to do is difficult. To trade a coffee bean. He could have said, this is so difficult, or this really isn't easy. Or he might have said, this is really tough or hard. Wow, this is really hard. Wow, this is really difficult. So it's not me that's difficult. I'm not difficult. It's this thing that I'm trying to do that's difficult. You know, uh, that is a my, coffee bean. my team, yeah. Yes. Give me, uh, give him yeah, give me, one uh, coffee. You know, one coffee. My team, give me, give him one coffee. First, we can say coffee bean. The thing that he has is a coffee bean. And notice that he uses you know a lot. A lot, you know, you know. Well, actually, you know is useful when you're not sure what to say. Uh, you know, mm, mm, you know, you know, uh, you know. It's a filler word. It doesn't mean anything in that situation, really. It's used to uh, fill a space, you know, between, you know, something else. I don't suggest using that too much. He could have said, our team gave us each a coffee bean, or each one coffee bean. Our team gave us each, that means me and him. That would be more clear. Mission. You're on a mission. Mission. Yeah. mission. Change, you know. Your change. I got one by it. one, change. Yeah. Uh, maybe, if I put give me you, give me this. Give me this. You give me... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> change. One by one, change. Instead, we can use trade, exchange, or swap. Swap means I give you something, you give me something. Same for trade, but for trade, we're usually talking about things that have value and swap is often used uh, sometimes where we, we just trade for a short time. So in this situation, trade is the best word to use. And he could say trade up because he wants something more expensive, more valuable than the coffee bean. I must uh, tell you. Uh, yes, tell me now. I must tell you, I must tell you. Well, the grammar is correct, but you wouldn't use that in this situation. You would say, I must tell you something if something crazy happened to you. I, I must tell you this thing. Some crazy story happened. In this situation, it would be better to say, perhaps, mm, let me explain. Let me explain the situation. Or I'm going to try to explain this. Or maybe, um, here's the situation. I know, I know. My, uh, my crazy. Cre crazy. Cre we are crazy, sorry. My crazy. My crazy. Well, that's an interesting way to say it, but it's not quite right. I think she knew what he meant, 
but uh, a better way to say it would be, this sounds crazy, I know. Or you could say, I realize how crazy it sounds. Or, I know this is going to sound crazy. Or, this is going to sound nuts. Nuts means crazy. Nuts, crazy, same thing. N-U-T-S, nuts. I, I continue everything. Okay. Yeah. No. 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 Go, out. No. Go out. Instead, we can say, get out. Get out. Go out, we use in other situations. I'm going to go out later to buy some food from the supermarket. I'm going to go out later. Yeah, that's okay. Get out. It's kind of rude. It's actually very rude. Unless the person you're talking to knows that you're kind of joking, like this situation, right? So, get out instead of go out. Chinese massage. Chinese massage, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know, you know, yes. Yes, yes, relax. Yes, yes. You like? Yes, yes. <laughs> you like? <laughs> you like? So he's giving him a massage and asking him basically if he feels good, if he feels relaxed. Better to say this situation, if you ever find yourself in the situation where you're trying to trade a coffee bean for something valuable, like a watch, and you need to give someone an arm massage in order to do it, or in order to get what you want, you can ask them, do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> if you find yourself in this situation, say, do you like it, instead of, you like? <laughs> so, if he wanted to say it very clearly, he could have walked into the shop and said, hi, uh, excuse me, uh, we're from China and we're making a TV show called Running Man. It's a, it's a really popular TV show in China. And we have a mission. This is going to sound crazy and it's difficult, but anyway, I have a coffee bean here and I want to trade it with you for something more expensive. So would you please trade me something more expensive for this coffee bean? Please, please, please. This situation makes a very interesting point about English. He doesn't know that much English, but he's able to get what he wants. He's successful. He got two watches. And they're expensive watches, I think. So he's able to use the things that he does know, the limited vocabulary he does know, to express basically what he means. And he's creative and expressive, uses body language, and uh, gets his point across. That's how you should always think of learning English. Try to communicate and don't only focus on being perfect all the time. Now, it's good to be able to say anything you want very clearly. That's why we should learn English. But we also have to be creative. We have to use body language. We have to basically communicate with people in whatever way we can so that they understand us and we can either get what we want or make friends or whatever it is that we need language for. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe. And if you really like this video, make sure to check out my Udemy page in the link below. Okay.